Good morning. How are y'all today? It is starting off as a Monday. As Monday as Monday can be. I guarantee you. It is Monday. Um, I have just spent the last 15 minutes searching for my goat milk face cream. What? Where is it? How did it get moved? I checked the trash can just in case it fell. So I don't understand what's happening that my face cream has disappeared and I don't have a backup. I just sold my last one. So I'm in a panic. So what am I going to do? Because I got to have my face cream. Got to. So we're going to try this. We're going to try the face. This is a goat milk lotion. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. I don't want to use a lot because it's not really face cream, but I got to put something on. I'm going to get home tonight. I'll tear up my house looking for it because what in the world? Where could it be? I used it on Friday. I know I did. So where did it go from there? That is the question. Oh, I'm hot and sweaty because I just spent 15 minutes in a total rush searching all around for my goat milk face cream. So, these have different ingredients. This doesn't feel terrible, but it is not what I want. <laughs> and I can't find it. Ah! Oh well, it is what it is and we're gonna do what we gotta do because, and I'm sweating. Because I got myself in a little panic because I couldn't find it. I'm not going to wear my hair like this, I don't think. Heck, I might. Let's see. I just might. Who knows? But for now, I got to get it out of my face because I'm hot. I'm sweaty. And, <coughs> excuse me. I just use lotion instead of face cream. Will it work? I hope so. I think it will. I mean, it's got close to the same ingredients. Just not the same ingredients. All right, so e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primers next. Yay for Mondays. Did y'all watch the Super Bowl last night? I did. I don't watch a lot of football, but I always watch the game, the big game. I always watch the Super Bowl. I mean, the Dunkings commercial, that was hilarious. There were a couple other ones I saw that I thought were pretty funny, but, um, so I, I do spend time watching that. Now, you guys, I have learned that you're supposed to do your eyebrows first. Does that mean I'm going to do mine first? Probably not, because we all know that I don't even know how to do them. So... That probably won't be something that happens, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe eventually. And I got a new eye primer, and I'm going to try that today. It's the same brand. Um, it's just a different color. It's the tan, and the other one I have is the pink. But I think I'm going to wear some pink. So we're going to try that, because I think I'm going to wear some pink eyeshadow today. So I thought maybe I should try the tan primer and yep i'm going backwards today it's monday the fact that i'm sitting upright is good news to me <laughs> but maybe that'll stop me from trying to put stuff on my eyeballs that shouldn't go on my eyeballs Y'all see my last video with the eyebrows? It was nuts, because it was nuts. Just, it was nuts. I laughed so hard when I saw my myself that it wasn't even funny. All right, I'm using the BB cream, although um, the new bottle of it looks a little bit different. But I still have this, so I haven't ordered any new yet. But I will be ordering, I will be ordering some new, um, actually, probably today or tomorrow. I think I'm getting low. I should have ordered a lighter color, but now it'll be spring before I blink, so I'm not going to do it. 
Oh, that was a lot. That was a whole lot. Way more than I normally do. Just going to give it a little pat in. Tap in. I had quite the busy week last week. I did not work Monday and Tuesday. Um, and then I had company Wednesday through Saturday. So it was busy. Oh, I don't know what I forgot to put on. Hold on. That little spot still looks a little bit. I mean, it's nice and healed, but it still looks a little bit. I'll just do a little tap right there. And we're going to now kind of work it in. Kind of get it blended. I don't know about that tan color on my eyes. I mean, it does look like my makeup color. So maybe it'll be all right. I don't know if it didn't go on as smooth because it's brand new, but the pink really seemed to go on super smooth and give more coverage than that does. I'm not sure about that. So let's put on some of this. Okay, this one is Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer with a Satin Finish. And then I've got Mary Kay um, Under Eye Corrector. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> I hope I'm busy today because I would love for today to go by quickly. It would be absolutely wonderful for it to happen that way because I like busy days. Slow days just are terrible. I really don't like the slow days. I mean, I do need to schedule a lot of stuff on our Facebook page today because I know it's empty now because I didn't work last week. Okay. There we go. All right, let's just uh, brush those eyebrows one more time. Did I even get out the little eyebrow pencil? I do not know. But I'm definitely going to go with the Pharmacy instead of the L'Oreal today because oh, if y'all saw the last video, you know the L'Oreal was not my jam. Seriously, not my jam. So let's use the Pharmacy. I do like that it has those three little doomahickeys there because that kind of makes it easier to make like stripes instead of just like, I don't know, coloring it. We'll work on that. All right, up next is my highlighter balm. That is Color Street best highlighter balm. I love it. The balms are amazing. If you're my age, I highly recommend them. I'm sure they're great for all ages, but I know that what a difference it has made on my skin at my age. And 
look how easy they go on. It's just easy peasy. Boom, just like that. Now let's hit some highlighter or some bronzer balm. This is also Color Street, and I make a mess of it, so. I'm just going to put some right there. I'm going to put some right there. And put some on my forehead, especially since I'm probably going to wear my hair like this. <laughs> Because it's up, it's easy, and it's out of my face. Now I watched a new video that showed to put some right here. For that extra facelift. I see it. I see it. Let's just put a little bit right there for that extra facelift. Them on my nosy. Alright. I'm going to go high right there. I think I've been going a little low in the general realm of things. I mean, I can still go low, but I think I needed to start up a little higher like that. And then we're going to kind of transform my chin, make it look like I have one instead of seven. <laughs> we're going to do a little highlight in a V right here. Remember, you got to trust the process, okay? Now we're going to go to my blush balm and big news. If this is not your shade, we got new ones coming. I'm super excited. Super excited. I love this shade. This shade is perfect for me. And I think it's perfect for just about everyone with that pink color. But we are going to have some peachy colors coming. Um, and uh, I don't know. Just a few different shades. I'm not really sure which shades. But I know some of them are going to be peachy. And I'm all for it. Because sometimes I would like a good peach. but um, And some people just like peach better. But the Go Getter by Color Street is just a really perfect color altogether. All right, and then let's drop in some highlights between those. I might have should have gone up a little bit more with that here. I probably should not have gone straight out and more up. I think maybe like that next time. A little, do a little brushy brush. So has anyone ever microbladed their eyes? They're, it's like a sort of like a permanent tattoo kind of thing. Okay, so you guys, I got it in this new palette. All about it. Let's see, where do I get it off? Right there. This is called Rose Dune. It's by Pharmacy. Look at those colors. Those colors are seriously beautiful. I don't know what which one to put on first, though. Um, let's do this one. We're going to do this one up in the corner, and we're going to try that. Let's pat that in just a little bit. I definitely like the pink better on my eyes right away, but since I'm wearing pink, I thought maybe I should... Stick a step away from the pink for this just a little bit. 
and it's got like the brownie pinks to it so it's not like pink pink Anyways, I'm going to just test this out. In that line. I really do want to try a cut crease, y'all. Have y'all ever done a cut crease? I haven't. But I want to try one. I'm going to have to just sit here one day and take a day just to play in makeup. It's, ooh, Wow. That was super soft in the center, and look at that color. Ooh, let's see how it looks on my eyes. Wow, that is pretty. Okay, I did not need to push as hard, so let's go. Let's get just a little bit more on there. Well, that's pretty. I can see me using this one a lot. That is a really pretty shade. Now, what am I going to do about the corners? Let's try. Ew. Look at that one. That adds some sparkle, doesn't it? That's this one here. I think I still need my regular corner color, but I really do like that as up in there. So let's add some of my corner color and see what happens. And then let's, I want to wipe those corners. All right, so let's get my little brush because I still haven't found my other one. And I bought a whole thing of them. And I keep forgetting to get them out of my car. So I'm going to put on my regular color. This is just a little cheap highlighter, actually. But it's one I love. I'm going to come above with that. We're going to kind of blend that. I feel like I might need, I was going to wear my silver liner, but I think I'm going to put on my green liner with this color. I never line this portion, the inner portion of my eyebrow or my eyelids. You guys tell me, I know it gives a deeper, darker color, but I have little bitty squinty eyes. So I feel like when I do that, that it makes them look littler and squintier. Y'all tell me what do you think about that? Because I'm just not sure. I got a new color of lip oil I'm super excited about. Let's, let's get the blend done. Let's get her done and get her out of the way on the rest of the face by setting her with some powder. Y'all know I go for the more, excuse me, more natural looks. Okay, so you see this side of my face that I just blended versus this side of my face that still looks like I'm kind of crazy. Get that in there. Yeah, let's get that top.
All right. I think that blend is blending down my neck a little bit. All right. So that was my pharmacy powder. Um, I have not seen this pharmacy powder again for a while, so I've got some other ones that I'm going to be testing it out. Let's curl some eyelashes. I already need a nap. <laughs> I went to bed super late last night, like super duper late. So I watched the Super Bowl and that was kind of late. It's late for a lot of people, but um, I decided that I would start this new series because I signed up for Paramount just so I could watch it. It's like five ninety nine a month and I'll either keep it for one month or um, I'll keep it for a while. But so while I'm on there, I got to watch everything I can, right? So I watched this thing called, I don't even remember, but I watched like three or four episodes of it because it was a really good show. So I was like, oh, shoot fire. About a guy who goes to jail and they have a fire program and he gets to join the fire program and ends up back in his own hometown and blah blah blah. That's you know, it's a drama show like they all are. All right, that is the Color Street Mascara. And today I am going to go ahead and put my lipstick on with you guys because I want to show you this new shade. I can't believe it hasn't sold out yet. It literally blows my mind. This one's called Kiss Kiss. And we're going to see what it looks like. So I have pulled a combination of colors. That's probably a little bit crazy, but I like that. So it is like a deep burgundy color and it is beautiful. So, to go with that, I'm actually going to go light or dark, light, dark. Okay, so I'm going to use the Dynamite Lip Liner. This is also Color Street. I think it's UPS that just pulled up. Delivering my purifier filters. You know you're supposed to make an X right here, right? Like, cross, cross. I don't know. That's just what I've seen. I'm going to color that in. Because that's what I do. All right, so that is our darker um, lip liner. And then I'm going to apply my favorite color, which is, <laughs> I really need to open one. I have one sitting right here to open, but I don't like to waste it. So I'm going to use Charmer. which is pretty all by itself. Oh, y'all. That is probably my favorite thing. I mean, the lipstick is amazing, but I love that I'm not going to get a handful of 
lipstick underneath my nails. Oh, that's so cute. Look, it says love all over it. As y'all saw, I just opened it. It has that incredible dispenser or uh, applicator. Every time I put that on. Our lip oil is amazing. It's going to come back next month. Okay, so that is quite the bright color. But I don't hate it. Kind of like the way it made me look now. Hold on. I look better with my hair down. I look better with bangs. Well, now they don't want to do anything. Now they're now they're gonna. I got the '80s hair going on, so we're gonna have to go somewhere in the middle here because I did that because I put this on. So let's let's go in the middle here. Let's pull some back and leave some down. All right. I think that's it. I think that's as good as it's going to get for today. I'm not sure that I didn't like it better with my hair all the way back. All right, you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming to my channel. I appreciate it. I know all I do is sit here, put makeup on, and talk to you guys. But I hope that you enjoy it. Come join my group, Flawlessly Festive VIPs, or Simply Flawless Naturally, um, on Facebook. We have a lot of good stuff going on in there all the time. I'm always doing giveaways and having a lot of fun. So I hope that you guys will come and join me. Y'all have a great day. Bye.